Hey guys, EBP Man here, and today we're going to take a look at options that are going to expand the connectivity of your MacBook Pro 2017, 2016, 2018, um, any of the MacBooks that have the USB C connectors and nothing else. Let's go ahead and check this out. So if you've ever been struggling with um, connecting other devices, USB sticks, USBs, um, video coming out of your MacBook Pro, uh, this video is the video for you. We're going to go over a hub that's going to allow you to expand the connectivity uh, for your MacBook Pro. And this is the MacBook Pros that have the, uh, the USB-C uh, connectivity and nothing else. So uh, stay tuned. Let's check out this new product. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the little bell icon to get notified when new videos become available. All right, so as we're taking a look at this right here, so uh, here we have this product, Desert West is the label, and it is a USB-C hub or uh, a USB hub that's going to give you a lot of connectivity. Let's get a little bit closer right here so you can see. Uh, it's very small, doesn't really take up a lot of space, but you'll notice right here from an out pers output perspective, you're going to get the ability to get HDMI. Uh, you're going to get USB, you're going to get SD, you're going to get a lot of different connectivity and it's simply by expanding the connectivity that you already have on your MacBook Pro. So let's go ahead and open this up so you can see how this is going to work. So nice packaging and presentation here. Here you have what the hub would look like and how it would get connected and how you get this additional uh, connectivity. And uh, frankly, this is uh, one of the things that I use most often, especially since I do a lot of traveling and, uh, and I want to be able to connect my Mac to different devices. We'll throw away this little stuff over to the side. You'll notice that really nice looking. Uh, we'll go with my Mac as well. Let's open this up. Let's just take this out. So this is what the solution looks like. Let's get that on camera really nice for you. So here you see these are the two USB-C connectors that are going to go on the side here. Uh, and then what you'll do is you immediately have over here HDMI. And over here, you'll notice all the connectivity you have. So you have power in, you know, that you're going to be able to do. You have your USB-C or your standard USB connectors and then USB-C again. And then you have your two uh, memory card slots right there. So, again, giving you a lot of options. For those of you who are interested in, you know, some of the uh, details here, this is the model number. And I'm going to have a link to this product uh, for this hub down in the comment area below. But let's see how this works. I'm just going to plug it into my Mac. Now the MacBook has two USB-C's on each side. I have it on this side right now and you notice that it's kind of flipped up. It doesn't really matter what side it is. If I put it on this side, then the actual logo of the company is going to be facing upwards. If I put it on this side, it's on the bottom. So it really doesn't matter because you have your two connectivities. I have over here, this one is being charged this time, so I just placed it here. Now let's take a look at how everything aligns. All right, so let's go ahead and take a closer look at how things look right here. So I have a shell on mine, and what I did is I kind of dremeled out the shell so that this would connect because typically the shells come all the way up to this part right here. So I went ahead and dremeled that out. But you can see here, here I have all of my different uh, ports that have been expanded out. You'll notice here on the back I have my HDMI. Uh, if we take a look on the back right here, you can see how nice it's flushed in place and it really expands the utility of your Mac. If you don't have a USB-C, uh, let's say for example monitor, what you could do is use one of these to go HDMI out. I use this for projectors, I use this in conference rooms, just connect it and everything is going. And then also because of the USB options here, I'm able to connect a hard drive, a USB stick or any other device that I need. Now here's another question that you may be asking yourself about uh, this hub. Uh, you do have an HDMI port there, so what's the resolution for it? Let's get a little bit closer. Uh, you're looking at 4K 60 Hertz and support of HDMI 2.0. So uh, you're going to get good output if you do use it for videos, for watching movies, or what I would use it for, and I do, is for meetings, PowerPoints, and presentations. So now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and test out this USB-C, or actually the USB, since it has USB-C, I'm going to use this USB adapter. I'm going to plug in here on the side, and then what I expect to see when I go into my uh, into my directory here, I'm going to go into the finder, I should be able to find that drive. So here you can see the drive, so you notice where it says no name right here, this is, this is the drive that's connected, and then if I go into my files area, click right here, I can then see the files that I have there. And if you were curious about loading a file, I have PowerPoint. It's going to load all things, but we're going to try a video file. 
Uh, this is a video file of the Note 7 that I had recorded quite some time ago when it launched it. And you can see how quick that was. Um, and I can start um, editing this video or playing it back. So again, standard USB connection to a MacBook Pro that has USB-C but using this um, hub to get that connectivity. All right, so let me show you the setup I have. So I have the adapter still, the hub connected to my MacBook Pro, HDMI coming out. Uh, looking at the monitor that I have here set up, this is a LG ultra wide, I think it's 34 or 38 curved, right? And here I have the video that we're looking at, and we're just going to go ahead and hit play just to see uh, responsiveness. And it's working fine, no delay or anything. So it's a really nice way for you to be able to extend your Mac to other systems. So guys, that concludes our review of this USB-C hub for the MacBook Pro. If you have any comments or questions, leave it in the comment area below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.